fascinated by the fact that you speak German. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, that I true? Deutsch. You do? Yeah. Okay, what's like the coolest thing I could learn how to say in German? Leck mich. Leck mich. Am Arsch. Am Arsch. Am, am Arsch. Arsch. Leck mich am Arsch. Leck mich am Arsch. I can't hear that. <laughs> oh no, what did I say? Sandy! Lick my ass. Oh! <laughs> Like me like me it's sort of like it's sort of telling someone that you know, oh, which to God. a dog would be a daily occurrence. <laughs> right. Have I you mean, ever had a premonition? I don't know. Uh, I I don't know if I've had. I have. My friends rely on my sense of doom. I have. I get. There's been times that I've had really bad feelings and it just it slams me and and I go I don't know what it is I don't know what it's about but I feel like something mm -hmm. is happening and it will I mean look it everything you know every day there's something horrible you know that happens of course. in the world but uh, as my dad says you know if disaster is going to strike it's going to happen while Sandra's in the vicinity <laughs> oh, well, everyone will be fine no. <laughs> that's the thing when you're with me you will survive but you'll have the experience are you having any feelings now no everything's good now <laughs> it's great at least I'm in your presence, I know exactly. I'll be fine. So do you remember any accounts of, of, of being slammed with that emotion? Because for me, I know three days before 9-11, I was on a flight, and I just started completely bawling uncontrollably. I had no idea what was happening. And My husband, the same thing. He was in the hotel right next door. Was supposed to leave after the planes hit. Got up at 2 o'clock in the morning and said, I'm out of here. And so he missed it, and that's why he's... I left Boston, here. that's why I got Isn't on the plane. That? And I was bawling, I didn't know what was happening I, I to me. I do think that there's an energy, um, without sounding too insanely woo-woo, but, you know, I, I, I've had things happen that I go, I know exactly where that came from. More, not so much a premonition as it was, oh, I, I, I see that. No, you know, and, and I can't explain it, but it's right there, and I don't know how that happened. Um, I mean, I was on a, on a plane flight once, and we were landing, and I swear to God, a voice came in my head, and I know it was my mother, said, tighten that seatbelt. Tight it, tight it, tighten it, and, and just make it really tight. And it was fine. There was nothing wrong. I pulled it as tight as I could, and then when we hit the snowbank, the wheels broke off, the plane's nose came off, and the wings came off, and there was no reason for me to pull the... The wings, too? Yeah, we, we didn't really land on the runway. We landed sort of in a snowbank and broke... Oh my you goodness! Know, many parts of the plane off, but it was uh, ideal um, wrecking conditions. Apparently, so I mean yeah. that's that's kind of a premonition. I mean, yeah, it, but it, not it, like yeah. knowing what's going to happen, but yeah. having that that, that voice instinct. It, and, and I think everyone has it. I mean, I, I think everyone has it. I don't think we're um, raised or or told to trust it or to because it's, it's, it's nothing that you can base on fact or science or you know you think of someone and then the phone rings and it's it's them or you have a bad talk you know twins mm -hmm. twins constantly have stories about you know either something happened to my 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 other half and they will have been in a horrible accident or a mother's intuition mm -hmm. so you know premonition intuition whatever you want to call it yeah it's, it's really you know? interesting so I'm sure like it was it was really a draw for a movie like this for you to kind of explore it too yeah and to think about you know a lot of people go down the path of life and wake up one day and go this is not the life that I wanted and if you're given the chance to change it to go back and fix it if the you know if your time is out of order if you're given the opportunity to go back and fix it given the information you now know mm -hmm. would you go back and save something or would you let it happen so you could start new. It was you know? interesting. My favorite line in the movie was when you called him a roommate. It's yeah. a very powerful line. It's, and I think there's probably a lot of people who go, I've, I've found myself in the position of roommate with my husband or wife, mm -hmm. and we happen to have children. And what gets people to that place? It's life is hard, you know, work. You, mm -hmm. you, you have all those ab obligations, and, and you forget where the joy and the love and the fun is. You know, I... I that's the hard thing, I think, for people. When do we make time for the fun so we can remember why we fell in love in the first place mm -hmm. and what we were wanting to do with this life?